Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer uh, comes from Equilibrium Brewery. And these guys are up in New York. New York! Uh, this is their Fractal Simico. And they've done different hot varieties of the Fractal beer. Galaxy, Mosaic, it's, it's, I don't know how many different versions they've done. Uh, but they have done a bunch of different ones. So uh, what of that is telling me, guys, that they probably use Simcoe hops exclusively for brewing of this beer. Simcoe for bittering, Simcoe for the flavor, Simcoe for aroma. And if it's dry hop, they use Simcoe to dry hop it too. So uh, uh, a one hop beer, basically, uh, if you will. This is a 6.8% IPA. So not too awful big, uh, should be very tasty. It's a plain Jane silver can with just a stick on label here, guys. So they're concentrating on, on putting their money in what's inside the package instead of a lot of fancy artwork printed up cans. So, and uh, that doesn't bother me a bit. As a matter of fact, I applaud that. Because we're just gonna either recycle it or chuck it in the trash. Uh, but a lot of people like to see that fancy stuff sitting on the shelf. It draws their attention and makes them buy the beer. It doesn't, I guess it could, but to me, I'm more and, uh, concerned on uh, what's inside the can rather than some fancy can. But anyway, my brother Rico sent this one to me, and he writes 6.8% IPA, sold in four packs, only at the brewery. And it was $16. He said he traded for this. Uh, no date, but his trader told him, and Facebook confirms that this was released on 091617. Today is Friday the 13th, October. So, uh, right at almost three days from being a, a month in the can. So the, uh, he tells me the brewery is loca located in Middletown, Orange County, New York. So, uh, you, have to get, you have to go there or trade for this beer. It is not distributed. So, with that being said, uh, commercial description, Fractal Simico pours hazy straw yellow, releasing aromas of passion fruit, bright pine, berry, and earth, followed by some bready notes. It tastes a creamy pine flavor supported by tropical notes and a firm but rounded bitterness. The medley of characteristics make the name Fractal Simco warranted indeed. So, uh, first beer of the day for me, so let's get the... Uh, Top popped on this, pop the top, and get some of this into the glass. While I'm pouring this, oh, it looks pretty cloudy. It looks rather carbonated too, so let me back up on that pour. And I'll tell you, the cuisine is curry, the Thai, cheese of peppery, Monterey pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, uh, organizational limburger meat, poultry fish, shellfish, and, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that. Back around the pint, back or nine, come to mug, sound side dale. That is fairly carbonated there, guys. That's all I'm going to pour in there right now. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today, guys. That looks like a juice bomb. Not recommended for standard salary. Drink them fresh, guys. That looks like orange juice in the glass here, guys. And it looks like a New England style IPA. Not the bright orange color. It looks like maybe it's a half and half between grapefruit juice and orange juice. Looks very juicy in the glass. Definitely looks like a New England style beer, guys. Big soapy white bubbles on the outside. A little bit more creamy on the center here. But I, you know, I didn't pour it very aggressive at all. So it is a tad 
on the heavily carbonated side. I wouldn't think I would have got that much head pouring it as gently as I did. But anyway, we did. About a finger and a half of head on that pour. Good looking beer though. Let's see what it's all about. Let's get a nose to it. Big time grapefruit. And that's basically, uh, it looks like a cross between a grapefruit and orange juice in the glass here, guys. Big time grapefruit on the nose. Citrusy, pine. Hint of some orange zest. Maybe a little melon. But the grapefruit is standing out more than anything on the nose. Let's dive in. I'm thirsty, like I said. First beer of the day. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Super pleasant. And the grapefruit is not, not bitter or tart. It's got a nice sweet grapefruit taste to it. Very, very pleasant. That's outstanding, guys, right now. Uh, and I don't know how big Equilibrium Brewery is. Uh, this was a brewery only release. I don't know if everything is brewery only release or the special stuff is only brewery. I, I don't know. It's not available anywhere around here. I know that for sure. Uh, and like I said, uh, Rico couldn't even get it in his part, his neck of the woods. He said he traded for it. So unless you were at the brewery, you couldn't get it. So I don't know if all the beers are that way or not. But uh, I can understand why. I, I bet they sold every damn can that they released, too. This is pretty damn tasty. I would buy this if I could get it here, no doubt about it. Well, let me try to get the back end of this can in there and see if it changes anything. I kind of doubt it will. But you never know. So, still looks basically the same, guys. A very good-looking New England-style IPA. A very, a very nice juice bomb. Well, it's right out of the fridge. Let me pour her some for a set here and break it all in front of me. And I'll come back after sipping on it for a little bit and see where it ends up. Really impressed right now. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just left here. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Big time grapefruit notes on this. Nice sweetness to it, too. Very citrusy. A little bit of orange peel. Hints of melon. Maybe a little pine and mango. Very tasty. Very, very tasty, guys. Uh, like I said, I would I would probably buy this beer here if I could get it here, if they would put a date on it. Now, it's brewery on release, I understand. They don't need to put a date on it. They're selling everything right out of the brewery. It's not going to stores or anything like that. But uh, eventually, more than likely, they'll either need to get a dating machine or uh, especially if they start distributing and it goes out into the stores and stuff without a date on it, that would be a deterrent for me from buying it. But uh, other than that, it's a very, very tasty beer. It's definitely worth picking up. And definitely worth going to the brewery to pick it up if, you, if you're into the New England style IPAs, these juice bombs. Uh, very pleasant. Uh, I can't think of a single thing that I would say to change this beer. It is awesome, guys. To me, without the date, I know what the story is behind it. Uh, it's a 10 beer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, in a nine can because it doesn't have that date. Awesome. Bottle chuck. And that's what I'm gonna give it guys. Uh, 95, right down the middle of the A category. Uh, I enjoyed this, this was very tasty. A nice, easy drinking alcohol, super hidden on this beer. Very well done. Very, very well done. Uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate. And Beer Advocate says 4.22. That's also in their A- minus category. I'm giving it a little bit better grade than that. Uh, 4, 4.5 would be their, their B cat. I mean their, their A category. So they're in the A- minus category. I think it's better than A-. minus. Over to Untap. Final check in. This guy's got it also. 4.18. Uh, 
that is their A minus A category. I, I'm gonna say A minus at 4.18. Uh, once it got into the like maybe the 4.25 or so, what I would consider that their A category because, like I said, the best thing I've seen from them is like a 450 some, 460 some, uh, and that is their top notch numbers. So. Uh, a minus from both of these uh, groups and solid A for me, guys. Very tasty. Worth picking up and get your hands on it. And a lot of people aren't in the uh, area where they can go to the breweries a lot of times. So a lot of these beers like this one uh, are traded. And so another reason why it would be beneficial to us for them to actually, you know, put a date on it because, you know, a guy might have went to the brewery and bought a case of it if he could get that much of it. And then decided to trade uh, six or twelve of them down the road. Uh, you don't know, you know, how old it is unless you do some research and maybe you can go on Facebook or wherever and find out when they release this particular version. So I want to see the date, guys. You know me, I'm a date Nazi. So that being said, if you've had this one from Equilibrium Brewing, this is their Fractal Simcoe. Let me know what you think if you've had it. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.